Welcome to Ruby Thursday's Better Than Airbnb. I'm Melissa Wanish. In this lesson, Unit 2, Lesson 2, we're going to be implementing profiles as a nested resource. We'll be tackling this user story. As a host, I want to fill out profile information about myself so that guests will feel comfortable staying with me. It's always good for a guest to know a little bit about the host. Let's start off by writing our feature spec for profiles. We're gonna create a member because profiles is going to belong to members. In our first scenario, the host creates a profile. So we'll visit the new member profile path and we have to feed in member. Then we'll fill in the profile bio with just a couple paragraphs. We'll click button create profile. Then we'll expect the page to have the content profile was successfully created. We're going to be adding more to this spec in future lessons. Right now, let's just make sure we get the profile set up and have at least one attribute. It's good practice to create a branch when you're working on a new feature. We'll call this one profile and work from it for this lesson. Now let's put in our new feature spec with a new file in our feature folder and we'll call that profilespec.rb. Now let's include the spec that we just wrote. Let's go ahead and run it and see what it says. Make sure that it's written correctly first and that it will get the error message we're expecting. And yes, it doesn't find a new member profile path. To begin building that new path, we are going to go ahead and use a scaffold to create profile. We definitely need a few of the paths and views like new and create and edit and show. So I think scaffold is the best bet for this. We may not use everything it creates, but we'll delete all that extra stuff later. So first we will Rails G scaffold profile with bio text. And since it's going to belong to member, we need to have member ID be an integer. And we'll go ahead and run that migration. Back in our terminal, we'll run the scaffolding task. And Rails will create a whole bunch of files that we'll need to create the scaffold. As always, I like to check out that migration file and it looks just fine. So let's run rake db migrate to create our profile. The scaffold also creates a number of unit tests that we can fill out. For this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on the model and controller specs. Here's the model spec for profile. We wanna make sure that the factory is good to go at all times. Then we wanna make sure it has a bio and a member ID. Now we're gonna also add that it'll have an association. It should belong to member, and we're using shoulda matchers for this syntax. We also need to go back to our model spec for member to make sure that it will have one profile. In our text editor, we'll go to models, and then open up that profile spec and include the spec that we've written. And let's line it all up so it's easy to read. Jumping to our model spec for member, we'll add our new section, describe associations to see if it has a profile. First, let's run the profile spec and it should have some failures because we have not included the associations yet, as well as the validations. The error messages point us in the way of adding those items to our models. We'll validate the presence of bio and of member ID and that it belongs to member. And then in the member model, we'll say that it has one profile. Opening up our app folder with our models and then profile. Let's add those validations and association and save. Then we'll go to the member and add in the association to profile. Let's run that spec again and now it should pass and we'll run the model's member spec, and we'll see that all five examples pass. Because we are creating profile as a nested resource for member, there's a few key places where we need to edit the controller spec that was made by the scaffold. First off, we need to set up the member with factory girl. Then we will let the valid attributes include the bio and the member ID. Then we're going to add that the invalid attributes would be if both of those are nil. Now we need to add member ID to equal the factory girls member dot ID where there are those hashes. And there's a couple of places I'll show you where those are. And then in this scenario where it redirects to the created profile, it's actually gonna redirect to the member profile path. So we need to feed in member and profile. Opening up our controller spec for profile, 
We'll scan down and we'll add in the mock for member and then replace the valid attributes with the ones we've set up so far. Make it readable. Now we'll include the invalid attributes and move it over. Now we're going to scroll down and see where the hashes are that we need to put member in as well. First, I'm going to go ahead and comment out index. We're not going to be dealing with that yet. We might need it later, but let's go ahead and remove it for now. Let's put member ID in the show and in the new and in the edit. Although we're not dealing with those quite yet, I know I'm going to soon. In the create section, we need to add member next to where it says profile on the line that says post create for the various scenarios in the create section. Now we'll go ahead and make that redirect to the member profile path. And scrolling on down, there's a couple of other places. I'm going to go ahead and comment these out for edit and delete. We'll be working with those later, so let's make sure they don't get in our way for now and comment them out. For time's sake, I'm going to move right into making sure that that spec passes. First, we need to create the nested resource in our routes. So we'll add in resources members do, resources profiles, and then end. The scaffold also provides a route spec as well. We'll get into that in future lessons. Opening up our routes file, we'll delete where the scaffold put profiles and then add in our nested resource. In our controller, we're going to add a method before action set member, which follows the Rails 4 convention for using a private method to set certain instance variables. Then for a nested resource, we'll have the app member build the profile in the new method, and then the member will create profile in the create method. Then we're going to set that redirect to make sure to redirect to member profile path app member app profile. And then on down in the file, we will define set member to find the member by the params member ID as our routes will provide that member ID because it's nested. Back in our text editor, let's open up the file for the profiles controller and add our before action set member. Then we'll scroll on down and change profile.new to at member build profile and then Change profile new here to at member create profile. Scrolling down, we will change the redirect to go to the member profile. And then all the way down, we will add in our new method set member. Now let's run the profiles controller spec. And all of the examples pass. Let's go ahead back to our feature spec and see where we are in the process. We've dealt with models and controllers. So now we're to the view, to a new problem. Many times when a view can't find a field, it's because there is an error message on that page. You can use binding pry and then save an open page to see what the error is. First up, we need to edit the form four line because it is a nested resource. We need to have an array to include at member and at profile. Then we should remove the member ID field since that's going to be created when we create the resource. It's not something somebody has to enter. And then we need to remove a few links that are provided by the scaffold thinking the profile is going to be all by its lonesome, but it's with member. So we need to go ahead and just delete those. Going into our views folder, let's open up profiles and then replace this line to include member and profile. Then we'll scroll down and delete member ID. Next up, we will go to the new and erase the link back to profile path because that's a path we don't have anymore. And let's remove these links back to singular profile path. And let's go ahead and remove this notice. We included notices as part of devise. Let's run our spec again and it passes. Thanks so much for watching this lesson of Better Than Airbnb, where we installed profiles as a nested resource. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to click that big red button right there to subscribe. 
And if you are not already on my mailing list, click on this Ruby to head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up to get more Ruby Thursday awesomeness in your inbox. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.